my name is Andrew McLeish and I'm chef proprietor of Chapter One Restaurant. Today we're cooking a fantastic product, uh, grass-fed Irish beef. Grass-fed is a natural diet all the way through. It's fed on the pastures of Ireland. Ireland has a lot of rain, fantastic pastures. Uh, all the way through its life, this is slowly matured, slowly grown. It hasn't got any artificial feed in there, any grain. The marbling is uh, a little, little bit subtle, but the marbling is consistent throughout the meat. The anglais is very, very tender, cooked to medium rare, and it works really well with the potato puree, uh, which is always great with a, a nice cut of beef. Uh, sauteed uh, girolles, trumpet mushrooms, a little garlic, thyme, um, and some red wine sauce. Okay, so we're going to start today with making the, the red wine sauce for, for the anglais beef. So this is uh, anglais trimmings diced up. It's the fat of the anglais. Add a few shallots in there. A couple of cloves of garlic. A couple of sprigs of thyme. Keep the heat on there. I want to caramelize those onions. I want to caramelize the beef down a little bit more. From here, I'm gonna add a drop of red wine. We haven't seasoned the sauce at all yet. I always season the sauce at the end. If I season it now, it could quite easily become too salty by the time I finish the sauce. Then we're gonna add our basic veal stock. So here we have our basic red wine sauce. We're gonna let that sit on the side of the stove for about 20 minutes, let the flavor come through. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for the sauce to cook out, we're gonna start roasting our silver skin onions. A drop of oil in our pan, add the silver skins, and we're aiming on a nice color, roast these onions down. So I want the color on the onions first with the oil, and then to add the butter to get a nice nutty, nutty flavor. Now these are coloring up nicely now. I'm gonna add some garlic, some thyme, and then to glass the pan with a little bit of chicken stock. Uh, slowly but surely we'll add the stock, reduce it down, add some more stock, reduce it down until the onions cook all the way through. So this sauce now has been cooking for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna pass it through a chinois and through a muslin, so take all the, the particles out of the sauce, and then finish it with a knob of butter. We're going to start the pancetta now. It needs a tiny drop of oil. We're going to colour these off nicely. Gives a little saltiness to the dish. Gives it another element of a, a flavour with the anglais. Works beautifully well with beef. We're going to add some uh, chirol, chirol mushrooms. Any mushroom will do for this dish in season. Finally, some uh, trumpet mushrooms, which is a black mushroom, black wild mushroom. Season them up, salt and pepper. A little touch of parsley at the end. And then these silver skin onions can go into the garnish now. Nice and soft. And that's our little garnish there for, for the beef. Tastes amazing, adds to the flavor of the Irish beef and it complements the earthiness of the anglais really well. So we're, we're roasting the anglais in the Josper, which is a, a very intense heat, nice smoky flavor because it's in a box. Anglais is also great on a, on a barbecue at home in the summer months. Very versatile piece of meat. Just a little brush of butter. My favorite with any, any type of beef, a little bit of puree potato and a little mushroom garnish just around. The grain goes one way on the anglais beef, so we need to cut against the grain. You see how it looks absolutely delicious. A little bit of salt, fleur de sel, arrange the beef over the top. And some of the red wine sauce that we've had so over the beef and around the dish. And there we have it, our Irish grass-fed anglais of beef with uh, wild mushrooms, silver skin onions, potato puree and a red wine sauce. Fantastic.